Hi, my name's Emma Cook. I am the Tiny Turner and I am a professional wood turner from England. In this video, we are going to make some of these guys. Some people call them gnomes, some people call them gonks. Um, they tend to be known as gonks these days. Um, I'm going to show you how to turn each one. So this one is a more traditional design with a taller hat and a little bobble on top. This one is a little bit of a, just a different design with a top hat instead. The great thing about these projects is they are very, very easy to turn, so it doesn't matter whether you are a beginner, an intermediate or an advanced wood turner. They are really fun to make and nice and simple. The other great thing about turning these is you can use whatever size of timber you like. So these ones are slightly smaller than the ones we're going to be turning today. These were turned from 50 mil square timber. Um, we have 60 mil square timber today. It's just a little bit easier for you to see what we're doing on the slightly larger blanks instead. So we have a piece of ash, which is going to be the body. And then we have two pieces of cherry, which I'm going to turn one of each hat from. You can use whatever timber you want for this project. Again, you can use anything, anything that's lying about in your workshop. The other pieces are, um, these are 30 mil in diameter. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. These are 30 mil square and these will make the nose and the bobble on the top of the hat. Um, again, you can use slightly smaller timber if you wish and in this case, it's ash, but you can use sycamore or maple or whatever timber you want. So we're going to find the centers on all these. Each of these pieces of timber is about 130 mil long. And again, it doesn't have to be quite that, but that will work quite nicely for this thickness. This is a spindle blank, so we can use a spindle roughing gouge to round that off initially. So I'm going to cut a tenon on one side so that we can put it into the jaws of the chuck and then we'll turn the whole shape of the body and the underneath where it's going to sit. And then before we take this, uh, the centres out, we're going to turn the other two sections um, for the hats between centres just because it's a little bit more efficient to do it that way. So we'll put the first of the hats in and turn both those. And I'm just putting a longer tool rest in so I can turn the whole thing without having to keep moving the tool rest across. The hats need a tenon on both ends because we're actually going to drill um, a locating hole in one end of this. So a spigot there and a spigot there. And the same again with this piece. <clears throat> I 
the now these are all rounded off we're going to move on and we're going to concentrate on the body to begin with so we want it quite rounded at the bottom and we want to keep the diameter at the bottom but then we want to bring this down and decrease the diameter towards the top so that we can get this overhang of the hat. A lot of this project I'm going to turn with a quarter inch ball gouge with a short handle because it's nice and manoeuvrable. Yeah, so the first thing we need to do with the underneath is to clean this up and make it slightly concave so that it will sit on the widest point and that way if the wood warps it's less likely to wobble when it's standing. So this is quite a long piece of timber to have unsupported with the tailstock so be very very careful with your cuts, nice and gentle cuts um, because we don't want to have a catch and pull it out of the chuck. So we're going to use the parting tool and just begin to part this off and then we'll sand him. So we'll give this a quick sand up now. Um, you're not going to see much of the body once this is finished so you don't have to sand it and polish it to perfection. So sand it and then we're going to finish it with some these two products and then we've just got a little bit more turning to finish on the body before we move on to the hats. With your micro crystalline wax, leave it 10 to 15 minutes before you polish it. 10 to 15 minutes later. So the next stage is to turn a tiny little spigot or a peg or a dowel, which is going to fit into the hat. It just makes it easier to line them up when you put them together. I tend to support the piece with my hand. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, then you might want to skip this step and just part the piece off. There we go. Okay. So that peg is about five millimeters in diameter. If you do a smaller gonk, you can make a smaller dowel, whatever works for you. So for this one it's about 5mm. So that means that we have to drill a 5mm hole for that to fit into on the hat. So we're going to start out with the easiest hat to make which is this one. Um, the first thing we need to do is to drill a hole in the bottom of the hat so that it will sit onto that little uh, dowel that we've made. So we've got the Jacob's chuck in the tailstock with our five mil drill bit. And we're gonna drill a hole about three, four centimeters into that piece of timber. So turn your speed right down to about 600 RPM, nice and slow for drilling. Now the hole is drilled, we can reverse this in the chuck and turn our hat.
So I'm just changing to a spindle gouge to finish the cut. And then we're going to start to part this off again and give it a sand. So we use the same finish we used on the body just to keep things simple. Don't forget to wait 15 minutes for the microcrystalline wax to start to cure before you buff it. And all that needs to happen now is to part this off. This one's a little bit easier to part off because we don't have a, um, a, a dowel to worry about. There is a hole in the middle. But again, I'm going to support the piece as I'm parting it off. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, just take down the diameter and then you can just use a saw to finish cutting that through. Now we have a body and a hat. So for this, all we need now is a nose and that would be this style of gonk or gnome finished. Um, but we're going to move on and we're going to do the second style of hat so that you've got an option to choose whichever one that you would like to do. So we will put this to one side. This second style of hat takes a little bit longer to make because we have to drill one hole for the dowel to fit in the body and another hole in this end for the pom-pom or the bobble to fit on the top. And now we're going to change the drill bit for a smaller drill bit. This one only needs to be about 20 mil deep. So we just need to hollow the end for our pom-pom to sit. a shape that we're happy with we can give this a sand up same finishing process that we've used so far and then again we will pat this hat off and then we can move on to the last two pieces that we need to fit, turn before this guy's finished Just clean the underneath off. Uh, so now we have a different option of hat. This one is more traditional. We just need to finish the top bit and make a nose. So we've got two pieces of the 38mm ash and we've got one mounted in these long nose jaws. 
just a little bit safer to hold them in this. We're going to turn one of these into a nose and we're going to turn the other piece into the pom-pom or the bobble uh, that's going on the top of the hat. So we want a small tool for this. I'm just you're going to use a small quarter inch ball gouge. So we're going to cut a small dowel now at the back of this so it makes it easier to attach to the body. But before we cut that any thinner we need to sand and finish the piece. So now we can finish cutting the dowel down to about four millimetres and part that off. We're then going to repeat this whole process just with a slightly smaller dowel to fit the hole in the top of the traditional hat and then we can put it together. turning is now complete so we can start to assemble our gonk so the first thing we're going to do take either of the hats and place that onto the body just so you can figure out where the nose needs to go um, so we need to make sure that the nose is not too high so when it's next to the body it's not going to lift the hat so it needs to be low enough so that it doesn't do that and we're going to take our four mil drill bit in a little hand drill okay so check check that hole is deep enough and then we can start to fit the fur So these pieces are 150 mil wide and about 50 mil uh, deep. And we're going to cut this in half with a pair of scissors. So we're going to make sure the fur is facing away from us and turn it upside down. And then we can line up where our beard is going to go. We need to make a hole for the nose. Fold that in half. Measure where that's going to go. And then we cut a square. and push that through to the front and that gives us the hole to put the nose through. I'll put the dowel into there push that into the hole and that will hold the beard in place so we can glue it. If the nose is loose or just for extra security, you can always CA glue the nose in. 
So we'll put some sea air into that hole. Now we know that all fits together. Push that in. So to glue the rest of the fabric down, you can use either a fabric glue or hot melt glue. I tend to use a fabric glue because it, is, it gives you longer to work with it. This glues very fast. And we're just going to glue along the top and down the side. So we just do one side and let that dry. Same again on the other side. So while we're waiting for the beard to dry, we can glue our pom-pom. So either CA glue or hot melt glue. Just a small amount into there. Cool. And now you can decide which hat you want. So we can go with a traditional hat. Like that. Or so we can go with a traditional hat like that, or we can go for a top hat. Whichever look you prefer. And whichever you decide, hot melt glue is the best thing to glue this together with. So take that off, put your hot melt glue around there, and then just put your hat back on to secure it. And that is our gonk. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video of making a gonk. Like we said at the start, these are a lot of fun and suitable for wood turners of any ability. Thank you very much for watching again. Um, please give us a thumbs up on the way out. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and we will see you in the next video.